Hi, today we will create heterogeneous TV link in Oracle database. We have already created database link between Oracle to Oracle. Those are called homogeneous database link. But when you want to access a non Oracle database in your Oracle database, so in that scenario you need to create a heterogeneous TV link and the other non oracle database can be your SQL server, your MySQL or any other kind of database server available in the market. So in this video I will show you that how you can create a heterogeneous TV link using oracle gateway software and I am using remote database server that is SQL database server so my test setup having Oracle 12 C it is running on Linux it is the source database server where we will create our heterogeneous DB link the target is SQL server 2019 which is running in, in this my windows PC you need database user database password and any table name for testing purpose with the username or password you can access a number of tables on which this user have access now you need oracle gateway software for ms sql server for different non oracle database server you need to download different oracle gateway software and I have copied this in my Linux server. So below are the detailed step and we will follow the same and I will as usual I will share the SOP with you. Okay. So let first I will show you my SQL server. So this is my SQL server running on this my windows PC here I have one database kshdb here I have only single table which I have created <coughs> for testing purpose it has some 5 or 6 rows like this and we will test this output in our oracle database using db link. this is my oracle database server okay pmon is up okay listener is also up now the first step we need to install oracle gateway software okay so i have copied my software here Yeah, this is the software gateway for MS SQL server. So first I need to unzip it somewhere. Uh, I have a space on user2. Okay. I will unzip it into this mount point. Oh, my mistake you need to install this gateway software on the same oracle home
okay zip is completed now we will go into this folder we need to run this installer file in this graphical user interface you need uh, just three values your sql server ip database name and server port so the default port in sql server is 1433 and if you want to check it you can check here also you just need to open sql server configuration manager here you can go to network configuration then client tcp ip and here you can check here the port so it is the default port so no no, no issue here now database name we know it is kshdb and ip ip you can check here this one virtual box so this is our IP so you need these three details okay so it is auto detected the Oracle home which is defined in our uh, Linux profile so it seems good click on next here you need to select the appropriate gateway software so i will use sql server so you need to select the sql server so this is the option click on next okay so it is asking the microsoft sql server database server host name so you need to put here the ip of your sql server fine now microsoft sql server database server port numbers so it is 1433 microsoft sql server database name so it is kshdb fine click on next oh my mistake here you need to mention ms sql server and if your SQL server is a named instance so in that case you need to mention your uh, exact SQL server name so this is the default name of SQL server okay now click on install it can take hardly 10 to 15 minutes okay great now it is asking for listener configuration so we will actually not want to configure the listener right now here because we have already have uh, one default listener running on this machine so I will cancel it okay 
click on next great so our installation has been completed now we will confirm this parameter file which will be available here now it is actually automatically created by this gateway software just check it so you see it is it has been created just watch the content of this you see the IP port and database name is already entered here and some parameters also available there now we need these three parameters which is actually recommended by or Oracle support in in some cases you will face that your uh, DB link will hang if it is using SQL server so to overcome this issue you need to use these parameters in this parameter file so just edit this p file sorry edit, edit this init file and paste these three parameters save it now just cross check the dg4 msql drivers it is available or not after installing the gateway software it should be available ok now it is available earlier these were not available in your oracle home now here we have some important steps first we need to update our listener file ok so this is my default listener file we will include the dg4 ms sql entry here edit the listener ora file delete all the entry and paste all the code and save here here basically you see this is the my default database entry and this specific entry has been done for my dg4 msql program which will be useful and which will be act in background to access data from msql server save it stop the listener and start again ok now you see my dg4 msql service is available there now we need to make one entry in tenusnames.ora for our sql server we will use this tns entry to create database link ok done save it ok now we need to check this entry just check with tns ping fine it is working just confirm the host name ok this is fine port is fine sid is fine fine now it is the important part in some windows machine 1433 port is blocked by default uh, through firewall so you need to create an exception rule for incoming connection so you just need to open your firewall in windows in case your ms sql is uh, is running on linux server so there you can add a rule in your linux firewall here just go to advanced setting go to inbound rules and here you need to create 
actually I have created already yeah this is the rule you just right click and you see I have allowed the connection from my where is the port entry yeah this is the port I have allowed the incoming connection for 1433 port so you need to create by clicking here now everything seems good now the final step is to create a database link so we will create a public database link you can create a private database link also as per your need this is the database link which I use so that I can un understand that what actually this DB link is for so it is ORA 12C to SQL connect to the SQL server username SQL server password and the TNS entry connect to SQL plus ok right now there is only one DB link available which is default DB link DB link created this is the DB link now we need to test our DB link whether it is working or not so at first I will check with sysdate this is the most run command when you create DB link to test the DB link ok so we have received the data output that means our DB link is working but we need to confirm with fetching the records from remote table it should return 6 or 7 rows so you see it has returns the data from my MS SQL database server you can also confirm this from here also you see here is also 6 records here also I can run select star from table underscore 1 ok I will just insert quickly one record test any number any string and insert here now select ok I will check the same here also ok so the data is visible here so by this way you can create a heterogeneous database link in oracle database so hope this video uh, will help you so please support by uh, subscribing this channel so thank you very much